What's up, guys? It's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scooby and Marine. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way, you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now, in today's video, we're continuing on with our series of advanced side mount penetration techniques, and we're going to look at another cool little fun dive over at Lake Phoenix. Now, this is what we call the Mystery Pentagons, and it's like a 200 long foot section of just made up pentagons that you can swim through. It's a great place to practice buoyancy. It's even a great place to practice your uh, underwater photography and videography skills as well because you can maintain buoyancy and trim and really get a good shot as you go through and it's a safe environment. There's no real overhead to this. You can constantly go in and out of the pentagons at any time but we're also going to be looking at the end of it where it's either one collapse or they've not completed the construction as, as, of the pentagon uh, tunnel itself. So what a good friend of mine, David, decided to do, he wanted to see if he can get up underneath the collapse section of it. And of course, as you're going to see in the video, he was able to do it very easily. But what we're going to be focusing on is how he negotiated, whether or not he could get through, and the technique that he used to basically pull himself through. So now that we've kind of got the setup out of the way, let's go ahead and get the video started, and let's see just how easy it was for David to actually make this penetration. And like I said, this is the Pentagon section, the Pentagon tunnel. We just call it the Mystery Pentagons. And it's about a 200 uh, long foot section of a swim through. Now there is no overhead here. You can very easily pop in and out. You can go through the sides, the fronts, the top, but it's a great place to practice skills. Here David's in side mount. He's switching over from say the frog kick to a modified flutter kick. And it's just a great fun little dive. But as we get to the end, you will see that the end is either collapsed or it's just not being completed the construction of it. Well, David wanted to see if he can make it through the bottom. As he's pulling along, you'll notice both tanks are still attached. He's not uh, winged a tank. He's also not gunned a tank. And he's just pulling himself along. But what I want you to focus on, he's not really stirring up the bottom here. He is still a couple inches up off the bottom there, and he was able to make it through very easily. Now, we're going to watch through this one more time here, and we're going to, once again, focus on all the little nuances of what he's actually doing and the benefit of you actually exploring the Pentagon Tunnel itself. So here we're just swimming around. I'm practicing some of my videographer techniques. And of course you can see David's frog kicking. He's standing in the center of the tunnel. And of course he's gonna switch over. He's gonna change his kick pattern. Now he's went from a frog kick over to a flutter or a modified flutter. And if you don't know what the difference between a modified flutter and a flutter, a flutter you're using the entire length of your leg from your hips down. A modified flutter you're just using from your knees down, or in some cases just from your ankles down. Here he's just using from his knees down. And then of course he starts the penetration itself. And he is just pulling himself along. He's negotiating, looking left, looking right, seeing which is going to be an easier pathway. Now you will notice those collapsed pentagons, they are coming up and down a little bit. They're really not that heavy, so he could have very easily just pushed himself up. But he's practicing his penetration skills here. And of course as he comes out, you can see there he didn't really start up the bottom. And it was a safe little fun penetration for him. Now, as always in these videos, I would encourage you not to make a penetration unless you've been properly trained and you have proper supervision. But it's a neat little fun place to go explore too, especially if you're a side mount diver. Obviously, a back mount diver couldn't have made it through there. This is where side mount really uh, shines through and it makes diving a lot funner. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned from it. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it as well. If you got any questions on side mount diving, advanced side mount diving, or Lake Phoenix, in general, drop me a comment down below and I'll try to answer it the best I can as quickly as I can as well. But guys, as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business.